If you're used to working in frameworks like Astro or Vue, you're used to scoped CSS where your scope stays within its component. For example, I have a card component, and if I want to style the titles a specific way, I could say I want to select all the titles inside of the card, but the problem is, is this isn't true scoping. It changes my CSS specificity, which is not ideal. This is where the at scope property comes along in CSS. We just pass it in a selector, and then we wrap all the styles that we want to apply inside that scope. So here we have only the styles inside of our card being applied to this particular scope, and they don't change the specificity or anything like that. And if we want to stop the scoping at the body element, you can see we can do that by just saying two.body, and now it's not applying anywhere that's inside of a body. The really great part about this is we can actually copy this and place it in line in our HTML. And now if we do this, I can actually get rid of the place that it's scoping to here. And I can just say scope to the body. And now you can see everything inside this parent element is inside the scope up to that body element. To learn more about this property, just click on the video on your screen and it'll teach you everything you need to know.